Okay guys, I have torn apart every bolt that I have. I have four uh, four bolts on hand and I wanted to have a look at the, the, the extractors, play around with them a little bit and see if I could figure out what the heck's going on with my uh, with my 6.5 Grendel. I think I'm onto something and I'll tell you what, let's just let's go up closey here real quick and I'll show you what I'm looking at. Alright, first of all, let's look at the problem here. So this is an extractor that came with my, uh, this is a brand new extractor that actually came with this bolt carrier and uh, bolt assembly. Of course I replaced the bolt with the, with the 6.5 Grendel specific bolt, but yeah, whatever. This is an extractor. So this is a piece of 223, you know, so the extractor grabs a hold and yanks it back out of the chamber, right? Then the uh, the ejector and lifts up that side, and as it lifts up, you know this thing kind of ends up letting go. So straight, it has a really good grip. Tilted, it just comes off nice and easy. Same story with my. This is my Colt extractor this has got several thousand rounds through it same deal you know it uh, straight has a nice uh, nice grip on it and then it turns and, and comes off nicely and this is the Rainier out of my 300 blackout which has several hundred rounds through it same story so let's have a look and see how my yep, here's a brand new piece of 6.5 Grendel brass and here's my 6.5 Grendel extractor. Gets a hold of it, and then as it tilts, it locks. So rather than being able to tilt free, it tilts a little ways and then completely locks. And the reason why are these little tits here. I'll tell you what, let's uh yep, let's go a little bit closer and I'll show you the difference. Alright, here are the four extractors. Can you spot the Grendel? Yep, it's that guy right there. So you can see, like this is my Colt. It's kind of rounded on the ends there. This is the uh, Rainier. Same story. This one is a little sharper than this is the new guy. See, rounded and rounded. A little bit sharp and then the Grendel is just too damn sharp. That little spot right there and that little spot right there are just absolutely digging in to the brass. I'll tell you what, here's this piece of brass. This is the just a piece of brass I've been playing around with. If you look around the rim, it is just eating it alive. So the extractor is just absolutely digging into it. So I think what I'm going to do is try to knock those guys down. I'm still trying to decide what uh, what the best method is going to be. Sandpaper, Dremel, I don't know. But I think that's what's going on. I need to get this guy to a point where it basically has a nice... Let me move these guys back. has a nice grip. But as it tilts up, it doesn't bind. Because I can't imagine how that would ever work. You know, that ejector pushes that side. I, I can't imagine how that would work if that isn't able to, uh, to slip through there reasonably easy. And this most definitely does not. It just absolutely binds like crazy. So, yeah. Let me think about it just another minute. Let's, uh, I might just grab a Dremel tool. Let's just go for it. To hell with it. Okay, so I've been looking at a couple different attachments trying to figure out. So, you know, like a big grinding wheel job like this is just not, not small enough, I don't think. What I basically want to do is just round 
Round that corner just a touch and the same over here. You can see it kind of has a little bit of a eh, yeah, a little bit of a factory bevel there just a touch. I just want to increase that a little bit. Hopefully that's that's where it's hanging because I, I did notice some uh, some wear on the two little tips. So I'm really hoping that's going to be, you know, basically where we need to go. And I guess really the, you know, the inside is all, all that matters. Yeah, I don't know. I was looking at, like, maybe some of these, one of these wheels to just kind of, eh, kind of go at it just a touch like that. One of these sanding discs might be okay as well, but I don't know. I think I'm going to go with, uh with this guy. I thought one of these like I don't think this has enough abrasion to get the job done. So yeah, let's 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 do this. Whatever. It's just an extractor, right? If we need to get a new one, we can get a new one. Whatever. Alright, I'm gonna attempt to uh, to get this on camera. But, we'll see how that goes. Not destroying my extractor is a higher priority than, uh, than getting it on film. So, we'll, we'll just we'll see how it goes. Let's see. Like, eh, that. Something like that, maybe. Yeah, let's give that a try. Okay, so that may have just made it worse. Uh, now I guess probably what I need to try is this like polishing type job. Let's see if that'll clean it up just a touch. I guess I could go ahead and see. Yeah, it's still definitely hanging hanging up. Let me try the try the polisher on here now.
Hey, that actually seemed, seemed to take off material. That might have been the, uh, the one to use from the beginning. Tell you what, let's see. It, I can kind of get it to, you know what, my God, I think that might be just about perfect. Still kind of get a little bit of a, eh, but it, it's easily overcome. You know what, let's throw this in the gun and see what happens. Kind of want to. See if I got any. Yeah, I don't see any sharp edges or burrs. All right, I tell you what, let's let's have a really close up look at it and uh, compare it to the others again. See if I uh, screwed anything up. Okay, so I may have gone a little bit overboard. Eh, yep. Maybe just a touch, but maybe not. Okay, well, let's see if we can kind of have a side view here. It looks a whole lot more like the others now than it did. But, if anything, I may have went too far. Alright, let's, let's put it back together and see what happens. Okay, the bolts back together, the guns back together, 10 rounds in the magazine, weapon on safe. Let's see what the hell happens here. That is a whole lot better. Not only did they all just run, but they were all ejecting a lot farther than they were earlier at the range. So I'll tell you what, let me gather them all up, we'll do one more. Okay, ten rounds are back in. Yeah, there we go. There it is. <laughs> My finger got in the way. Kick ass! Nice. Alright, so I think we're fixed. So now the, uh, you know, so now my fear is going to be uh, failures to extract, right? If I wore that, if I wore that extractor down too much, you know, to where it can't really get a hold of that, uh, that round and pull it out of the chamber. If we start leaving them in the chamber, then that'll mean I went too far, but hopefully not. Looks good so far, so... Yeah, next video we'll be loading up some more ammo, heading back to the range, so hopefully we're fixed.